Oh, I don't want to do this over again. Uh, I want to talk about um, a co Dr. Okoba Daggett and his theories about white supremacy, right, white supremacy in, in intellect. Um, it seems to me that it, it's a racially, it's a racial uh, ideology. Um, he does try to say that Felipe Rustan is a supporter or he doesn't try to say, he tries to infer that Felipe Rustan supports his belief system, not only just Felipe Rustan or the race realist. Well, actually, actually they do not support uh, Dr. Okoba Daggett's uh, uh, hypothesis. They actually support Asian uh, modernized supremacy where Asians are more fit to be in a modern society than blacks and also whites. <laughs> That's what they failed to miss point out, they failed to not point out here. Uh, Felipe Rustan was saying that Asians have are less promiscuous, um, they are less prone for crime, they have a higher intellectual capacity. So I don't know if he necessarily stated that Asians were more fit for a modern society, but we can infer from that that Asians are more fit for a modern society to to succeed in a mo modern society. So, uh, Dr. Kova Degas only uses part of Felipe Rustan's um, thesis, where it continues to say that blacks are at the bottom rung of intellectual capacity based upon the measurement of IQ scores. So I just want to point that out. But anyways, Dr. Koba Degith does not believe that Northeast Asians are superior to whites, even even though that the even though the brain sizes of Northeast Asians are larger than whites. I he didn't state this he didn't state this literally, but he infers that the difference in brain size between Northeast Asians and whites is statistically insignificant. That goes directly against what Felipe Rustan was trying to argue. I just want you guys to, I just want some of you guys, white supremacists or some of you guys who uh, follow Dr. Kobe Degas to understand that that is not what Felipe Rustan was arguing. Okay, he does not agree with Dr. Kobe Degas view. Okay, um, now, Dr. Koba Degith then says, you know, in one of his Hayden Flame boards, his little website, that, you know, Asians are, including Northeast Asians, are intellectually inferior to whites, and basically argues that the mean, that the Asians mean score, uh, basically most Asians clean cluster on the mean score. So most Asians, or in general, high percentage of Asians, I won't say most, uh, cluster around the mean score of 105 or 110. I think whites are 100. They cluster around that that mean score. I mean a lot. That was was he, uh, That's what I think. Uh, he's trying to argue a lot, a lot of them. While whites have people that are above, have more people that are above the Asian mean score, which is 110, as I said. Uh, they also have a lot of people below the IQ. Score below the below the <laughs> average IQ score which is I think a hundred so he argues that since we they have since whites have more geniuses than the average around 160 170 and since whites uh, based upon history uh, the last 600 years have been more creative which he tries to attempt to argue which which I don't agree with whites are superior and he argue, then he goes and argues that, you know, if whites were studying as hard as Asians, they would bury them in academics, that they would outscore Asians in academics. Uh, he believes that there is no doubt that the only reason why whites are not performing as well as Asians is because, uh, partially because of the dysgenic trend marrying Negroids, which that is only, I think, one out of a hundred marriages. I don't really get that and because whites do not study as well or do not value education as much as 
Asians, especially Japanese and the Koreans. Well, Dr. Koba Degith, that is flat out hypocrisy. I mean, the, this is the same arguments that black, the Afro bozos and, you know, the black liberals and the, I'm sure, you know, the ultra liberal Jews have argued when it comes to blacks failing in, in America academically. They've argued that blacks do not value education as much as their white counterparts. They do not invest as much time in education in terms of studying as their white counterparts. Education is not as valued in, in the black youth, although there's many, there are many African Americans that study very, I mean, very hard and are very dedicated to education. But in general, do not value education as, a, just value education in of itself compared to their white counterparts. This is, this, and I want to talk to the people who support Koba Dega, this is seen by your camp as blacks making an excuse. Berserker is like, oh, that's just another excuse. You niggas are just making another excuse for your low academic failure. It is absolutely 100% genetic. I mean, blacks make that type of excuse, or white sympathizers make that type of excuse for the black youth in America. I mean, Koba Dega is, is saying that's an Afro Bozo excuse. I mean, you know, you guys are just scoffing it off. But when it comes to the excuse of whites failing, failing to beat Asians in the IQ and academic achievement, it's not just a Koba Dega. Many white, re many white race realists are like, oh, well, if we would study more, you know, we're not really, you don't study that much, and you know, we don't. We're not taking school seriously, and you know, these guys, you know, you know, these guys are really dedicated. No, I'm sorry. If it's fair, if it's fair to say that, you know, blacks are not putting enough effort into academic achievement is an excuse, then it's also an excuse for white sympathizers or white supremacists or white race realists to say, uh, you know, the reason why we're not achieving is because we're not studying as hard. The only white race realist, or not the only, but one of the white race realists who has any type of integrity is Philippe Rouchdon. He's telling you flat out that you are genetically, inferior, genetically, intellectually inferior to a Northeast Asians. And he said that because of the brain size and the IQ scores, that shows that. As a matter of fact, he says that since the IQ test is supposedly supposed to be biased, and they still succeeded and beat you in IQ scores. It clearly shows genetic supremacy. So, you know, guys, you know, the thing is that if you're a race realist and you're a white nationalist, or you're just a race realist, and you were on the hate and the flame board with a Cobra Dega, then you read this type of shit. You should be calling them out, but no, you guys weren't. You guys were kind of agreeing with them, or you were ignoring him, or you know. That's why you guys are not going to be taken seriously because too many of you guys are jocking this Akoba Degith guy. Some of you guys I know that you guys have no. I know you guys know far better. Sorry, it's a little bit of eubonics. Far better than what you guys are. Anyways, you guys get the point. So have a nice day.